What's good YouTube and welcome to the house today. We got a brand new deck review and a youtuber saying a name wrong What's new the Paladion, the Paladian, the Palladians? I'm gonna go with Palladian the Palladian series from Yu-Gi-Oh.jp and claimed to be this month's issue of V Jump uh, So this is gonna be in V Jump, but they're from cybernetic horizon the set so let's go over the monsters it looks like we have some core monsters and from what I understand, this fits into the World Chalice kind of line of monsters. So very exciting. I feel like that's the weathery right there. Uh, maybe I'm just straight up wrong. But uh, it looks like it takes a lot of aspects throughout Yu-Gi-Oh. This kind of looks ghost trickish. I, okay, I'm excited. Let's just get into the effects. Palladian of the Fiendish Illusion, level 3, fire spellcaster effect, monster attack 400, big booty at defense of 2000. You can only special summon one card with this card's name with the way it's written in its first effect. You can only use this card's name second effect, hard once per turn. You can special summon this card from your hand to your zone. A link monster points to in defense position. So you can't use these offensively, it's not meant to be offensive at attack 400 anyways. But it gets out of the hand real easily. Oh, if monsters are like this a lot in the future, we're going to see some flooded and turboed out fields. Second effect. If this card is normal or special summoned to a zone and link monster points to, you can target one Palladian card you control and one card your opponent controls destroy them. Essentially, a break sword for its archetype. That is cute. Target targeting destruction is not always the best but the fact it's any card not just a monster that's pretty cool it is however on summon and then you have to target uh before you destroy so hmm it is an interesting card as well i i think it's pretty good that's a great kickoff to this archetype for a low level monster let's go over the vast sky or of the vast sky level four light psychic effect monster attack 1600 defense a thousand you can only special summon one card with this card's name with the way it's written in its first effect per turn you can only use this card second effect once per turn so it seems like a theme hard once per turn on the second effect and let's read the first effect you can special summon this card from your hand to a zone a link monster points to in defense position seems pretty commonplace we'll go over that just to make sure none of them change but Oh, this archetype gets to the field real easy. And that's any Link monster. So I'm starting to feel that surgence of splashable engine here. Well, let's see the... There, I know there's Link monsters. I heard they're really good. Let's get to them in a bit. You can target one Palladium Link monster you control. Only that monster can attack the rest of the turn. Also, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent from battling a monster is doubled so it's not like a direct attack and getting double but that's still pretty good if you can get it nice and beefy interesting hmm that's the the light one right here now we have our water level three that looks very interesting with a decent size booty at 1800 attack 800 this is palladian of the sacred tree you can only special summon one card with this card's name the way it's written and its first effect per turn. You can only use the second effect card once per turn. You can special summon this card from your hand to your zone. A link monster points to in defense position. Surprise! If a Palladium monster or monsters you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. That's awesome because you can go up the tree and link summoning with her and then use her as protection from the graveyard. This is really starting to shape up to be a cool archetype, but we don't really have the power play yet. We're not into the boss monsters or link monsters, though. All right, we've got a level four. Oh, man, that looks like Guard Dragon. He's got a big booty, two at 2,000. And then we've got uh, of Celestial Bodies. But this is the level four Wind Dragon effect monster. Attack 600, defense 2,000. Uh, you can switch some of this card from your hand to a link monster pointer in defense position if this card is normal or special summon to a zone a link monster points to you can target a palladian card in your graveyard except of uh, celestial body so himself add it to your hand nice and yeah the the special summons hard once per turn as well so basically the first effects all seem to be the same whoo the resource game boys wow 
So you get something back for later. If it's gone to the graveyard, it's likely you're not specialing it again, but then you can still normal it and go up the tree because remember, you can only special summon the cards by the effects this way is written. And if anything else will special summon them, they can still special summon out that way and you can achieve normal summons. Ooh. Palladian of the Hundred Beast, level three, Earth Beast Warrior Effect Monster. He's a lion. Ooh, looks, looks cool. Attack 1200, defense 1600. Again, not meant for attacking, it seems. You can special summon this card from your hand to your zone. A link monster points to in defense. So it's still going defensive. You can target one Palladian link monster you control. During this turn, it, it attacks a defense position monster and flick piercing. Concentrating on the damage, uh, I suppose going along with the other effect, you can inflict uh, double damage. So you get double piercing there, perhaps. Seems like you're really stacking on effects of monsters. Uh, I, I'm starting to feel like Splashable Engine-ish is possible with things, especially like uh, our Celestial Bodies here. Um, hmm. Some some pretty good, some not so good. All right, ooh, three Link Monsters. Oh, man. Uh, I, I keep that ad block off for you, Yu-Gi-Oh! Org. If anything weird shows up, don't judge me, guys. All right, we've got uh, Magius Palladian, a Link 1 Light Spellcaster, Link Effect Monster, Attack 100, Link is bottom, so an, uh, an enabler without anything to the opponent. Materials are one Palladian monster, except for Magius Palladian, so he can't use himself to go into himself, obviously. You can only use this card's three effects once per turn. So... All three are hard ones per turn, so I'm guessing. This card gains attack equal to the original attack of the monster it points to. Nice. So it's it's uh it's automatically with your archetype able to gain uh attack pretty easily. The monster this card points to cannot attack. Well, yeah, so the whole point of this is to become the monster's basically attacker, and then like since it's in defense, whatever you lose it out to, you can probably just like you know, if this dies or something, something like, you still have your other monster on board and can just go into another one. If an effect monster is special summoned to the zone, this card points to you can add a Palladium monster from your deck to your hand. This is screaming Splashable Engine right here. Magius, with your wind. With, oh, man, this is screaming Splashable to me, boys. Like, definitely. That That's... Oh. Oh. Archlord Palladian. Link 3, Light Cybers. Link effect monster. Attack 2,000. Links top, bottom left, and bottom right. Materials two or more effect monsters, including a link monster. So you need just one link monster, but that's very easy in your archetype, I feel like. This card gains attack equal to the original attack of the monsters this card's points to, which can be up to two, maybe three if your opponents carelessly put one in a certain zone, where you clear their extra monster zone and something was over there. Monsters this card points to cannot attack. Once per turn, quick effect, you contribute a Palladian or World Legacy monster you control that this card points to and target a face-up card your opponent controls until the end of the turn that card's effects are negated. Not negated and destroyed, just negated. It's quick effect negation. That's not that's not terrible. It seems like you go up into cards really easily in this deck and for a Link 3 investment of uh, specific, specifically any effect monsters, including a Link monster, not Palladian locked, not a bad card at all. I like that. I believe that's this guy right here. Yeah, this is a Link 2. So let's read our uh, new Link 2. And then we got some spells. Ooh. Regulex Palladian. Link 2, Light Beast, Link Effect, Monster, Attack 1000, Link's top and bottom. So it gives your opponent something. To any two effect monsters, including a Palladian monster. So this is a little Palladian locked. Unless you're running it as an engine. You can use this card's name's three effects once per turn. If this card gains attack, this card gains attack equal to the original attack of the monsters it points to. Monsters this card points to cannot attack. If an effect monster is oh the third effect is once per turn. If an effect monster is special summoned to a zone this card points to, you can add a Palladian spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Wow, going up the tree is so easy in this deck, and it's it's just like a deck thinning engine. This is actually insane. This this. Uh, not necessarily this, this and this, plus this, and w the one was really good. If this, uh, you you can target a Palladian card, you control one card, it breaks swords, you can target a Palladian, cannot also inflict damage, is doubled, banish this card, protection. So you could, you could maybe tech the protection, but so far this one, plus this, plus this, is feeling mighty splashable to me. That, that's just my opinion. 
What do you guys think so far? This is crazy to me. We got a spell, spell, and a trap, and that's it? All right, all right, all right. It looks like a field spell, a quick play, and a continuous. The field spell, Reunite Palladian. Uh, one Palladian Link Monster. Oh, the first effect. Palladian Link Monsters gain 500 attack. Ooh, nifty. Once per turn, you can target a Palladian monster you control. It can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, and no other monsters you control can attack this turn. Your, your Palladian monster is already locking, but that's huge because you gain the attack of what's behind you, and then you just go Azura Priest through everything with potentially double damage. I can see the cheese this deck can produce. I kind of still wish that this provided some kind of advantage instead of being the win con, but at the same time, the engine's already so splashable and gets you advantage like crazy between the Link Monster and your, uh, the Guard Dragon-like one, the, uh, Celestial Bodies. That is crazy. This is Advantage City. You get one from your deck, you get one back from your grave. Man. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah the field spell getting a resource would kind of maybe break it a little too much. All right, all right. I, I, I got to calm down, boys. I, I can't be that hype for a new archetype, right? I can't be that big of a fan. Ooh, calm down, John. We, we only got two more cards. We got Crusade Palladian, Continuous Trap Card. You can activate one card with this card's name per turn. When activated, you can tribute a Palladian monster or World Legacy monster. Special summon one Palladian monster or World Legacy monster with a different name from your deck or graveyard. Wow. Okay. If you control a Palladian Link monster... Your opponent cannot target monsters for attacks except Link Monsters. So it's a magnet and a resource to summon any Palladian or World Legacy monster. Wow. The only way this card could have been better is if it had a graveyard or when it leaves the field effect. I like it. Overred Palladian. Or Overred? Yeah, Overred, I believe. Uh, quick play spell card. You can only activate cards with this card's name once per turn, so hard once per turn. Target a face-up Palladian monster you control. This turn, that Palladian monster is unaffected by card effects except its own. I like the tools. I like the resources. I like the lore. What these cards look like. I I'm getting to be a fan. This is how you do archetypal lore. You go through the World Chalice, World Legacy, the Mech Knights, into this with the crawlers including so many things i'm a fan boys i i am really becoming a fan so what do you guys think of uh this archetype i'm i think it's advantage city perhaps splashable perhaps you concentrate on it but i'm really thinking splashable because it looks like it doesn't take up much room if you go with the advantage cards overall although you do specifically need a palladian to go into it but the moment you make that you can add any palladian monster then you can special summon this guy then you get more uh, back and then you go into this guy or not this guy the the regulex and get another card whoo i like it what do you guys think? Do you think it'll be a standalone deck? I Maybe we don't have all the cards, but this is a lot of cards. What do you guys think so far of this, and how do you envision using this? Uh, it looks like we do have a lot of different types maybe to mix with Invoked, perhaps. Uh, all the links are light so far, though. It's really interesting to me. I really like this. I'm a fan. Thanks for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and enjoy the deck. And... Uh, I'm going to go dual MST TV now for my uh, Yugi Tuber Grand Championship, guys.